Ben Shapiro and the conservatives over at the daily wire are sick and tired of that dang Disney corporation indoctrinating our children into, they haven't been super specific about that, but they're tired of the indoctrination. So they have decided as a company to invest $100 million in indoctrinating children before I guess Disney can get to them. Yes. The daily wire, Ben Shapiro's outlet that has grown into a behemoth in conservative media is going to dump $100 million into producing conservative themed children's entertainment, because that is exactly what the market apparently has been wanting. Now, basic economic principles that show that this will be a failure aside, uh, the <laughs> CEO, co-CEO, I'm sorry, of Daily Wire, Jeremy Boring, what a name there, champ, had this to say, Americans are tired of giving their money to woke corporations who hate them, who hate them. Oh yeah, because that's what Disney's known for, right? Peddling hate. Like we hate our customers. We hate our viewers. Um, sure. If you knew nothing about Disney, then absolutely. I could see how you could come to that conclusion. Now, do they overcharge if you go to one of their theme parks? Oh, hell yeah. That doesn't mean they hate us. That just means that they're engaging in that capitalistic system that Republicans like those over at the daily wire love to defend every single damn day. But here's the thing. These little idiots over at the daily wire, Ben Shapiro and Mr. Boring don't seem to understand that Disney has actually always been a fairly political company. Do, do you not know that the founder of the whole thing <laughs> appeared in front of the house on American committee way back in the day to throw his own employees under the bus who wanted to, by the way, unionize. So he accused them all of being communists in front of Congress. And you're suddenly now like, wait a minute, Disney can't get political. <laughs> no, they've always been political. They're just on the other side of history right now. The good side for once, you know, and by the way, what they're pissed off about, of course, is Disney saying like, Hey, we want to work to get rid of this anti LGBTQ legislation that just passed in Florida. That's it. That's all they've done. Plenty of other corporations, by the way, have also said the same thing, but Ben Shapiro and Mr. Boring have decided they want to go after Disney. They want to take on the big dog, right? Behemoth in entertainment across the globe. And the daily wire thinks a hundred million dollars is going to somehow stop them that you're going to produce little cutesy children's show that is going to cripple Disney. Hmm. No, you may want to save up your money. See if you can buy Marvel or star Wars from them because, uh, they pretty much have it all under wraps. You're not going to put a dent in anything that Disney does, but more importantly, Disney's entertainment that they put out is not indoctrinating anyone into anything. So I'm not exactly sure what your goal is here. You say they're indoctrinating kids. You say they hate us, but there's literally no evidence to suggest this. So best of luck. I hope you lose every penny that you've made because they made a hundred million dollars last year. And now they're apparently going to dump it all into producing horrible conservative entertainment for children meant to indoctrinate them in the ways of conservatives. So again, I hope you lose everything and I hope it makes your business go bankrupt. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.